Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's wrap up the thing. Um, hey, um, I... I thanks. I've been kicking it and spilling drinks on it, and yeah, okay, good. Uh, none of you have ever produced a show before. You don't know what it's like. Um, you know exactly what it's like. Uh, <laughs> um, I have one more thought that I want to leave with you um, as we thank the many people who've made this happen and our sponsors. I've met a number of people, uh, I've known a number of people for a long time and even met some people today who feel like I'm the only one up here doing this, whatever it is. I'm the only one up here doing my thing or I'm the only one up here doing my thing in my community. Um, and, and I understand that feeling and sometimes it's completely flipping true because we're a small population location. It is easy to be the only one of something here. Um, that in itself is kind of an opportunity, but it can also be incredibly alienating if we're not in each other's court, even when we're doing something very different, right? Like if we're not in the camp of the person who's making music very different from us, um, then a lot of us are gonna wind up feeling alone. Um, and I wound up, um, I can't count how many little random social media interviews or something I've tried to explain about the sea ice going in and out on turning an arm, my favorite thing to watch, and how being a musician, or especially if you're trying to connect with any kind of income from it, is always like hopping from iceberg to iceberg. You know, it's like hopping from flow to flow. It's like uh, it's you you go from MySpace to Facebook to, oh, hey, CD Baby's here now. That's awesome. Okay, hey, Twitter, check it. Oh, Instagram. All right, now I'm getting tired. Um, and now everything, and then there's an algorithm, and then, the, oh, God, no one's seeing me anymore. What's a TikTok? I don't know how to do a TikTok. I'm sorry. I don't believe in vertical video, and you cannot make me. I have a Lucille Bluth perspective on this. Um, I'm just going to draw my grumpy old man line right there. Um, and uh, But... We have to jump from thing to thing because none of those things are built for us, right? They're all built to take advantage of us and to make a little bit of money off of us. Okay, the value is reciprocal, but I'm never confused about the fact that those services that we all kind of depend on now exist to extract. They're another extractive industry, right? And we use them, they use us, all right, but that's what keeps us hopping and hopping and hopping and you get tired, right? And we've seen people fall in the water. You know, we've seen people get let down. We've seen people lose it. And so what's the solution to this? Because I don't think it's just hop faster, right? I don't think it's jump higher. And I also don't think it's all get on the same little ice flow because any one solution, we all try to jump on board sinks, right? You can see that sometimes with crowdfunding or with other things. The cool new thing comes along and a few big artists make it and then everyone else joins in and it does, doesn't work anymore, right? That's also not the solution. I really think the solution for us, metaphorically speaking, but also, also you can see this be true. I think the solution is to throw out a line, you know? When you got, when you got a bunch of kayaks loose, right? You throw out a line and you make a flotilla. You extend a line to your neighbor. You don't have to be doing the same thing. You don't have to be going the same place, but it's safer when we're going there together. And I think it's very easy to get alienated up here. It's very easy to feel alone. It's very easy to feel like the only one doing something. I see that as an opportunity. I see our uniqueness, our collective uniqueness and our amazing individual uniqueness. The fact that you can easily be the only one doing your thing here, like that's kind of amazing if you feel backed up by a community. So I'm really interested in seeing what it looks like when we build the kind of community, the kind of community that conceives of everybody here and their babies, <laughs> and their grandmas, and, and aunties and uncles all over the state, all over the state. How big can we expand our, our sort of family or community conception of Alaska music? Because I think that is one of the ways that we will succeed. So I would invite you as we go forward into a new year, as we try and provide you some resources, not nearly as many as you need, but the ones that we can pull together from the ideas that we have, from what's doable, I would invite you to really try to remember that not you're not alone in this because you are in a web. You are in an ecosystem with a whole bunch of people who even if they're doing something totally different than you, you are in fact all connected and you can make a community out of that because we're in this place. Because this place is the thing we have in common, right? And it's a pretty magical place to have in common. So right back to the beginning. Um, I'm gonna stop and thank our sponsors uh, because we made this for free um, for you. <laughs>
And that's really important to us. It's also important to the folks who helped us make it that way. That would be um, the Atwood Foundation, the Alaska State Council for the Arts, and the City and Borough of Juneau. Um, the uh, municipality of Anchorage also supported the Alaska Music Census and all the projects surrounding it. That is huge. Um, so we owe them our thanks. We also owe some specific thanks to folks who helped us put on today the NAVE, Frostline, have given us a tremendous discount and been here like not losing money but like investing they're investing in this and so we want to invest in them they've been great neighbors to us they've been great supporters um and we also have an incredible crew here i just want to shout out all our tech workers because music tech live entertainment tech is some of the best work i love it so much i mean i was i local 918 baby um and i hope that y'all will remember to always uplift your local tech workers um and our volunteers also, shout out to Lee Post, who created oh, this, yes. I believe, on the fly. Yes, 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 yes. Really cool. That's who, that's. Lee Post gets his own slide, so that's why it's supposed to. No. Um. <laughs> can, I, can, I be a joke? can I be a joke? Yeah, say something. No, say something. I'm sure. Is that awesome? No, go for okay. it. Okay. I'm just going to do it. I'm feeling sorry. There hasn't been enough music in this music conference. This is very short, but I want you to learn it. Um, now we all push together. We might not agree how far, but we all know which direction gets us closer than we are. And we know we're wasting time with every second we don't start. Every shoulder to the boulder, here we go, heave ho. Every shoulder to the boulder, time to go. One more time, that's it. Now we all push together. We might not agree how far, but we all know which direction gets us closer than we are. And we know we sow destruction with each second we don't start. Every shoulder to the boulder, here we go, heave ho. Every shoulder to the boulder, time to go. Last time, I bet you'll get it. Now we all push together we might not agree how far we all know which direction we all know which direction gets us closer than we are we're no wasting time no we're wasting time with every second we don't start every shoulder to the boulder here we go heave ho every shoulder to the boulder Time to go.